Okay, so Sydney and I go into DC and Baltimore in like two weeks, and Sydney chose where we're gonna eat in DC, and I chose where we're gonna eat in Baltimore. We're going to the Hot Walk Cafe. We'll go to the Hot Walk Cafe in DC. But there is a restaurant like five minutes from our Airbnb that I really want to go to. And it's going to take us so far back into our adolescent stage. Give me hints first because I kind of want to guess it. Okay. You're like, uh, it's McDonald's? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's a place that we literally always talked about going to in like middle school. And we're like, oh my god, we have to go here. The Krusty Krab? No. <laughs> Think about what we were obsessed with in middle school. Think about how our friendship Direction. started, yeah. What? Is it... <laughs> is it Niall's favorite restaurant? <laughs> no, shut the fuck up. There's literally, there's literally a name that's like five minutes from my Airbnb. <laughs> <laughs> that's exciting. And they have gluten-free options and dairy-free options. I should have parked somewhere else, this lighting's bad. Hey, it's Friday, it's 3.30 in the afternoon. I just went and raw, rushed my car. Washed my car. And I was gonna vacuum it out, but I put $2 in the vacuum and then the little vacuum button didn't work. So I didn't get to vacuum my car out and there's so much dog hair in it. But the outside's clean and the inside's like, there's no trash, there's just a bunch of dirt and dog hair. Um. But the car wash is on the same street as the Goodwill, and I was like, mm, well, I'm out, like, I might as well, because I said yesterday or the day before that, like, I really need jeans, and before I, like, pop off and go to American Eagle, I'm going to see if I find any jeans that I like. I literally avoid the pants section in Goodwill, like, the plague. I hate it um, because there's literally no organization like I can go through shirts and sweaters like literally all day jeans <sighs> because I feel like literally everything's either like a size four or six or like a 22 and I'm like I mm, I can't do that but it's only 3 30 like I really don't have anything going on today I got off work at 2 I'm kind of hungry, but, like, at literally everything sounds gross. Like, I'm hungry, but, like, I don't want to eat anything. I don't know. Like, literally everything that I think of, I'm like, ew. So, I'm just going to run in here, and I'll probably, I'll probably be in here for a while. Um, also, if you didn't know, I heard that, like, Goodwills get stocked up on Thursdays. I don't know how true that is. Um, depending on how quickly I look through the jeans, it'll probably take at least like 30, 35, 40, 45 minutes to look through all the pants. Um, I might go through some of the shirts, like maybe at least like the white and the black shirts. And then maybe like look on like the back shelves to see if they have anything cute. So I'll be in here for a while. Like if I'm out by 4.30, I'm going to be surprised. It's 3.38 now. So I'm probably about to spend an hour in here while I don't know, we'll see. Also, um, I'm walking in here with $15, and part of me kind of wants to see how much I can get for $15. I don't know. I'm always so, like, annoyed with our Goodwill, and I'm never happy with it. And then, like, people post stuff on their, like, Instagram stories, and I'm like, you out there from, like, Goldsboro Goodwill? And they're like, yes. And I'm like, maybe I just don't go on the right days. But everyone says avoid it on the weekends. It's Friday. There's like literally no one here. So. Because I, I feel like I always go thrifting on the weekends. Like I feel like I always go specifically like on a Saturday like evening or a uh, Sunday morning. So maybe I'll have some luck today. I don't know. I found these but they're not my size. But they're so cute. I'm sad. <laughs> hey. So. I just got home. I went to Goodwill, I was in there for, I went in at 3.40 and I came out at 5 o'clock. Um, I did a cute little thrift or pass on my story and I got almost everything that I picked out except for these pants. I put them back because they're a size 14 and I'm in a 16. 
and I told myself that I was gonna stop buying clothes smaller than the size that I am and then being like well I just lose weight like I'll wear this when I lose weight because that's not a healthy mindset I also bought clothes that are my actual size which right now is an extra large to a 2x top and a 16 to 18 pant and I think just from where I was um, like a lot heavier than I am now I was really comfortable wearing 3x t-shirts so that's what I keep buying and then I wear like shirts that are actually like an extra large and I'm like this is my size and I look good in it so I've made an effort to buy clothes that are actually my size that like fit me properly not that there's anything like wrong with oversized clothing because everyone loves an oversized sweatshirt or t-shirt but that's like all that I had um and then I ran to Big Lots and got something for Holly and now I'm home I got a cookout tray because I'm disgusting and I'm gonna eat my cookout watch some Game of Thrones and then I'm going to try on my clothes for you I got a dress and I don't know if it's gonna fit my hips but I'm excited to see because it's so cute okay I just ate dinner I have the lighting's weird because I have my ring light right here I just ate dinner and now I'm going to try on everything that I bought. Um, and I'm excited. I'm a little bit bloated because I just had cookout and like, ew. But, anyway. <laughs> well, first of all, sorry baby. I need to show you guys what your girl got. Okay, so. My, I took in $15, like I said. My total was $10.96. So the first thing I'm gonna show you is this little bowl that I got. It's so cute. Look how cute this bowl is. It was made in Italy. It was $1.99. And I'm gonna use it as Indy's new food bowl. I really like it. It's like, it's glass, um, and it's got a little bit of wear and tear, like, it's, like, cracked a little bit, but I really, really like it. So, it's Indy's new food bowl. <laughs> I got this item out of the men's bin. It's a Washington, D.C. sweatshirt. Um, I'm going to Washington, D.C., and a little less than two weeks, so I'm really excited. And I'm gonna take this, because I think it's so cute. And this is out of the men's bin, and it was $1.96. No, $1.69. So, I got this for $1.69. And then, I also got this out of the men's bin. I don't know why I love this so much. I've been on like a green kick lately. Maybe it's because it's like summer and everything's like, or because it's like spring and everything's like green and like sprouting again. But I got this green t-shirt. And yeah, this was also $1.69. Both of these items are extra larges and I would just like to hurrah myself because I wear an extra large shirt and like I said I never buy extra larges because like I'm kind of insecure like I want my clothes to be big and I like don't really want people to be able to like tell what my body looks like but I got both of these in an extra large and I'm very proud of myself and then the last thing that I got so I did a thrifter pass on my Instagram and Almost everyone has told me to pass this. So I'm a little insecure, but I like it. And I don't even know if it's gonna fit me, or like it's gonna fit, if it does fit me, it's gonna fit everywhere but my hips. Um, but it is this like pea green dress, with little buttons on the side, and little pockets. And, um, it hits me like a little past mid calf and I just really like it okay and this dress was 489 
so I'm not mad at it. I'm going to try on the shirt and the sweatshirt first and then I'm going to try on the dress. Be right back. <laughs> so this is the green shirt that I got. I'm wearing mom jeans today. So I just tucked it in. I like it a lot. I really like the way that green looks on me. So this is it tucked in and then This is it tucked out or I can do like this number maybe I feel like I feel like when I do this it never like looks right on me I don't know why why is my mom keep calling me <laughs> this isn't a crop top but like what if it was so my big issue is that my waist like is light my waist is light smaller than my hips so when stuff fits me okay it doesn't fit my hips so like the band of this like wants to go up and like sit right here which like okay like that's a look but like it really needs to like sit like this. But then I just like like I look like when my body's really like like my body really like that. But then like when I wear stuff, it just like what the fuck? So yeah, um. But I will say the fact that I got this for a dollar sixty nine. I like her, but I have an idea. Stay right here. I'm about to be, I'm about to be so Pinterest. <laughs> I don't understand. I really don't understand. Oh, that's, that's kind of cute. I don't think I'm going to be able to tie this. I don't. That's not a look. That's not a look, is it? I don't fucking know. How the f do girls do this? Maybe? Is this a look? Can you go in the comments and tell me if this is a look or not? I don't think it is. Girls do this all the time though and I don't understand how. I really thought I did something. <laughs> Y'all, I really thought I did something. I really thought I did something. Okay. Went out on a limb. Got this dress. Again, I'm very bloated from my dinner. Oh my god. <laughs> I really thought I did something. Oh my god. I really thought this was gonna be like a statement piece. This dress is so tight that I can't even go in there to pull my underwear. <laughs> I tried on all the clothes and then Sydney shot a little wedding today and she came down down to edit and I came and sat with her. I know it's like 8 o'clock but I really want coffee. Me, me all the time. Me specifically at 10.30 every night. <laughs>